Now at a time when airline prices are soaring with each passing day, a parliamentary panel has urged the government to cap the airfare prices. The parliamentary panel has asked the Civil Aviation Ministry to ensure that predatory pricing mechanism is not adopted by the airlines. The panel has uh, recommended for a balance between the commercial interest of airlines and the interest of the passengers. Now, this comes amid complaints about a sudden surge in air ticket prices during peak travel season. All right, going straight across uh, to my colleague Ishika, who is joining us uh, on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Ishika, is there any relief in sight for flyers? Well, definitely, you know, what now we are seeing is that now parliamentary panel has in fact asked the civil aviation ministry to cap the upper and the lower levels of airfares and ensure the predatory pricing mechanism is not adopted by the airlines. Now, this, uh, the parliamentary the parliamentary committee says that there should be a, uh, you know, balance between the commercial interests of the private airlines, but also passengers' interests as well should be taken into consideration. Now, you know, they have also observed that presently the system the airlines do not select any sort of mechanism on part of the ministry to control the fares based on existing aircraft rules 1937. As you know, during surge in air, the prices go beyond the acceptable or justifiable limits. So definitely now after this report, we are, you know, uh, expecting, especially the passengers are expecting that in fact the Civil Aviation Ministry will take into consideration because as Ashna, we have been reporting on Mirror now how, you know, in fact, the surge in our airfares uh, air have in fact, uh, in so, in fact, impacted all the passengers. Definitely, they are waiting now for the relief after this parliamentary committee report. And we'll have to wait and watch how the aviation ministry reacts, whether or not do they implement it. Absolutely, Ishika. We'll really have to wait and watch how the civil aviation ministry reacts and whether or not they implement uh, this. Many thanks for joining us with all those details.